Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to my studio. So today I've actually gathered 50 different animals. Some are wild animals, some are African animals, some are sea animals. They are great figures. So let's take a look at every single one of them, okay? Let's go. Okay guys, so let's go. The first one right here is actually a red ear slider. I have two red ear sliders and today I realized that they are old enough and they were actually doing like a mating dance. It was very, very interesting. I'm going to show you guys, you know, maybe in our next few videos, okay? Next, we have a walrus right over here. This is a beautiful sea animal. These two huge tarsks are used to anchor themselves into the ocean sea floor while they use their flippers to dig for scallops and other food. Alright, next. We have a female lion right here, which is also known as a lioness. So this figure, I think, if I'm not wrong, this figure is actually um, from Schleich, if I'm not wrong, or is it from Papo? It's a really beautiful figure, it is super realistic, you can see, it is highly detailed, it looks like an actual, you know, lion to me. Okay, next, let's have a look at this. I think this is a beautiful reptile that we have just added to our collection recently. Um, what is this? This is actually known as the Bearded Dragon, a very beautiful figure. You can see it actually looks like a real lizard. If you place it on the floor, it definitely looks like a real lizard to me. Alright, next up, um, another reptile and this one right here, I think if you'll take a look at this, it should be an alligator. Let's um, do a... Yep, it is an alligator written right over here. A Safari LTD alligator. So alligators and crocodiles, you can actually recognize them. You can differentiate them by their snout. You can see the alligator actually has a very rectangular shape of the head. Or else the crocodile is a bit more triangular, all right? So this one right here is actually a crocodile. Next. Another reptile, this is actually a king cobra. Yep, there are different types of cobras around. I think at least 270 different species and some of them can spit venom, which is like up to eight feet away. Kind of cool, okay? And one of the largest living thing, it's actually the um, blue whale right over here. Nice. Another sea animal right here, which is also my most favorite sea animal, is the great white shark. This figure is not the best collector's figure, I would say. It is not like highly detailed, it is not like super nice, but still a decent great white shark figure. Next, another sea animal, we have a sea turtle baby. Yep, I think this should be a generic sea turtle baby. Very beautiful as well. Okay, let's move on another reptile and this one I think is known as the horned lizard if I'm not wrong okay and what do we have right here I think this is a snake for sure but what is the exact name of this snake boa constrictor all right um this figure yeah it looks very realistic I mean you can actually place this on the floor and will actually look like a real snake to me yeah it looks very very realistic okay next up flying fish a beautiful figure flying fish they are actually not flying they can glide through the ocean water surface very cool next up this is a southeast asian animal which is known as tapir can also pronounce it as um tapir all right we have an african animal rhinoceros another sea animal this one is a really beautiful figure but of course it does not look super realistic it is actually the notch large mouth bass this figure right here is a quite a fun figure i mean it is definitely not like a collector's figure it's more like a toy and you can see there's a button right here on top of the head when you press it the jaw will actually open and close so it's kind of cool okay lion king of the jungle lions are actually one of my most favorite animals on top of um rhinoceros i love rhinoceros as well 
polar bear and this one is actually a cop a baby polar bear so you guys know that polar bears they are actually black in color the skin is actually black in color the fur is actually like white and translucent but if you lift up the fur you can actually see see the skin is actually black in color very interesting okay let's move on we have a coyote right over here i think this is my one and only coyote figure it's a pretty it's a pretty figure quite nice you can see it is highly detailed the paint scheme is quite nice as well another african animal yep an animal that you can find in um, africa the hyena they are great hunters and they hunt in packs okay another rhinoceros we have a couple of rhinoceros in our collection and this one is actually a very nice shrek figure and speaking of African animals, we have another one right here. This is actually a hippopotamus. It's a hippopotamus calf. It's a baby hippopotamus. But when the hippopotamus grow up, they will actually become one of the most aggressive animals on the planet. And speaking of aggressive animals, the orca is actually not a gentle animal as well. It is an apex predator. They can even take down great white sharks and whales on their own. Very cool. And um, here we have a Pacific white sided dolphin. Okay. And this figure, we got this figure from an Australian animal bag. Yep. So it contains like different Australian animals, and the kangaroo is actually one of them. Pretty nice one. Lobster. This has got to be um it's not the best lobster figure in our collection. We do have a lot more accurate looking lobster. This one is quite of um you know it's not an expensive one for sure. Next we have a what is this? It looks like a wolf. I'm trying to find um the name. Oh yeah, this is definitely a wolf, I think. From Papo, I think. Nice one. Pangolin. This is a really beautiful pangolin figure from Safari LTV. So pangolins can also be found in Southeast Asia and some of the pangolins can actually curl themselves into a protective ball. Okay, so all these scales actually act as an armor to protect itself. Mori Yu. Yeah, this figure is a nice figure. Um, you can't really bend the body. I mean, you can bend it, but it doesn't stay that way. And Mori Eels, they love to live in, they love to hide in little cracks and holes. And I've actually seen them before. And uh, very impressive sea animals. Really beautiful. Hermit Crab, our one and only Hermit Crab figure. And this figure is quite a nice one. So Hermit Crabs, you guys know that the shell right here is actually not their shell. It is actually a shell left over by other sea animals. So they basically go around the ocean sea floor to find shells left over by other sea animals and they will just uh, make it their home. Okay? <clears throat> Next, this is a really beautiful cheetah figure. Yep, from Safari LTD. It is made of um, high quality material as you guys can see. You can even see like the intricate detailing done on the fur and cheetahs they are the fastest land animal on earth they can run up to 120 kilometers per hour which is kind of um amazing because sometimes i don't even drive that fast i mean most of the time i don't even drive that fast right next up we have a scallop hammerhead shark um, yeah, I mean, it's more or less the same as the um, hammerhead shark, but you can actually see some patterns on the um, hammerhead, some curves and bumps. Very interesting. Next, I mean, I'm showing you guys the fastest land animal, and this one is the tallest land animal, the giraffe, which can be found in Africa and, of course, in many zoos around the world. We have a clownfish. In fact, we have two clownfish in our collection. I think this one is from um, Safari LTD. This one is from Mojo. Yeah, I mean, both are very beautiful. Marble ray, okay, a kind of ray which with, with patterns on its body that resembles the patterns of a marble stone. Another walrus figure. 
string ray so you can do a comparison the marble ray doesn't have a sting at the tail okay on the tail but the sting ray has a tail right i mean there's a sting right over here cool basking shock the appearance of this shock may look kind of like hideous and intimidating but they are actually filter feeders they will basically take in all the water and filter out all the sm small food particles okay this figure i think we have two of three basking shock figures this is not the best one in my collection okay this one is definitely the best emperor penguin figure in my collection this one is actually from apple and not wrong it's a really beautiful one i love how they have painted the um, fur yep with a shiny coat of paint looks really really beautiful and do you guys know that emperor penguins they are the largest species of penguins around all right this one right here it's a spider monkey yeah it has very very long arms and um i mean very long limbs and a long tail i think in terms of proportion they have the longest arms of all primates next we have a frog fish so the frog fish i mean this figure it's a really nice figure i mean it's really rare to find frog fish figures this is our one and only frog fish figure and you guys know that they actually use their flippers i mean this fiends as legs okay they can actually use their fiends to walk on the ocean seafloor which is kind of cool we have a red panda right over here they're not related to giant panda if i'm not wrong and um here we have an arctic fox really beautiful one i really love what they have done on the fur very intricate fine detailing done really really beautiful and um here we have another fox and i mean this one right here is actually an arctic fox but not this this is a what do you call that normal fox <laughs> i suppose blue tank this is a really beautiful figure i think this figure it actually looks like the actual blue tanks that you can find and during my last trip to a sea aquarium i actually saw some blue tanks and you guys know that blue tanks they are able to adjust their blue intensity some will be lighter in blue and some will be darker in blue and adjust their colors accordingly very cool and um here we have a giant tortoise we have a dugong they do have some similarities with a manatee but if you take a look at their body texture i think you know it is slightly different it seems to have like a smoother kind of um skin texture next up we have a goliath grouper and our last figure of the day is actually a sand tiger shark all right thanks for watching our 50 animals and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye